In this video, I'm going to go over a pretty classic calculus type of problem, and this is from the Praxis 2. All right, it's from the Praxis 2, which is the 0061 exam. And I, I like this problem because it just reminds us of some of the basic ideas of calculus, which is just that in here we have a certain chemical reaction and the number of grams N of a substance produced T hours, I always underline a unit like hours, after the reaction begins is given by the function, well then I'll say that it is the function N of T equals, or it's down N of T equals 16 T minus 4 T to the second power, and T is within this range right here. At what rate in grams per hour is the substance being produced at is the substance being produced 30 minutes after the, the reaction begins? So notice they want to know something, something about 30 minutes, but we have T in terms of hours. So just make sure we pay attention to the fact that 30 minutes equals one half of an hour. And then we're going to deal with this right here, one half. So T is one half. But because we're, they're asking us about the rate, right, um, and we have this function, it's useful to use the derivative. So I'm going to find the derivative of the function and then plug in our, our variable for t, which is 1 half. So what's the derivative of 16 times t? Well, that's just 16. And what's the derivative, derivative of minus 4t squared? It's minus 8t. And now we plug in 1 half for the derivative here. Oops one half we're plugging in so that's our time we plug that in 16 minus 8 times a half right and and actually it's so interesting that it's a problem that seems to be difficult conceptually and it, I mean and some of this is dif difficult conceptually but the whole idea of rate and derivative but the process is just so simple uh, because now we, we just plug this in which we did and the function of the derivative at one half at a half an hour it's just 16 minus, what's 8 times a half? That's just 4. So the answer is 12. And again, you, you know, look for a problem asking for rate in some way, and try and use the, the derivative and plug in whatever value you're looking at, and you'll be able to find some kind of uh, reasonable result. Okay, hope that helped.